Well, we just pulled out of the house. It is two o'clock on Thursday, September the 1st. And we are headed to Misty Morning Outfitters in Kansas. This guy right here has never hunted out of state for a deer. First hunt of the year. Did a little gator hunting last weekend. And this weekend we will be and we headed to Kansas again for a youth hunt. Man, we had such a fun time last year, we're gonna do this again. Anthony and them's already on the road. We got two girls here that are fixing to just go lay the hammer down, I think. So we're excited, what you think? Oh, I'm so excited for y'all. Oh, we made it. Two trucks here. Did you get some sleep? Get some I, I barely got any sleep. My name is Le <laughs> Don't laugh. You're making me laugh. Okay, my name is Lexi Lowry. I'm from Summerall, Mississippi. I'm 14, and I'm here to shoot a big deer. Okay, my turn. My name is Aubrey Kate Sanders. Um, I'm 14 years old. Um, I'm here from Stonewall, Mississippi, and I'm trying to shoot the baby. You're shaking the camera. Every time we go up to Kansas, it's a tradition to go watch Ian play football. So we headed out to wish him good luck. Monday or Tuesday, and we're gonna go back to work and get better next Friday. Got two guns. Our bag one for each one of them. Each of them. Yeah. You ready? Oh, uh, we're about to go dove hunting. All right, it's day one, and we're headed to the dove field. Nothing. Me and my dad didn't start off too good, but as the morning went on, we started knocking down some birds. Right here, right here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There you go. That's your Well, things are improving. We learned how to shoot. <laughs> yeah. What you think? You like dove hunting? I love it.
Jay Paul on the hunt with this. Ben from down there in Louisiana, he knows how to cook some shrimp, and boy, these work. Look out, folks. Hey, West Cracker has made an appearance. Oh. Kansas version right here. We got shrimp in the pot or what? Sir, yes, sir. We threw them in. Look. Give them a couple minutes. Let them soak up in season. Show y'all when it's done. Please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the big shoes. Check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot. Step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the crease. When the whole place passing out toys. Ready to Tommy. go, son. Yes, sir. You need one. Oh, this is that old school song. We're bringing it way back here. Ready to go. We're just Drake old school. Oh, it's got this is that old school song. We're bringing it way back here. We're just Drake old school. Oh, it's got the non-typical logo, the Drake Waterfowl logo. It's got old time somewhere on here. What about y'all? Ready. Y'all are ready. Big bucks. That's what we have to do. We're going to stay up all night skinning deer. It's hot out there, boy. It's hot. <laughs> so, that's why I sent us. It's like, Dad, we need a fresh water. Yes, ma'am. Yep. You, you got some ready? snacks? All right. You ready, baby? Yes, sir. Time to lay the smack down.
Got, sir. So buddy. We're going back and then coming back? Yeah. We're going to let him lay, let him be there, let him rest, make sure he's hammered dead, and then come back and get some good pictures of him. Mr. Brooke, getting that camera, I mean that computer out. Getting Don't that computer at, out. What we got. I'm about to check it out. See if old Emmett done smoked him or what? Is that him there? Yeah. Oh. He hit him. Let's go. Hopefully we can go find this big buck in the shot. We got two to go look for. 15 minutes apart, maybe. Oh, that ain't bad. No. It don't get dark till late out here. By the time you drive back, eat supper, get back on the road, drive an hour. So we'll be there about 12, 15 to start looking. Be back here, I hope, by 2 a.m. Clean deer. Sun should be coming up when we get done. Oh, it's cooling off. Look on the green line, and I'm gonna go to that green line before we track the middle up and just see. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with you. We're gonna track it. You stay on that side of the blood trail, and I'll stay on this side, okay? Go real slow. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Some more right there. Huh? What? Is that there? Oh, I have my light. Go get him. Oh, shoot. Oh. Holy cow. There he is. Dang it, boy. All right, be easy because he's in velvet. There you go. Uh oh. What you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Dang yeah. it, boy. My goodness gracious. That was worth riding an hour and sleeping, wasn't it? <laughs> this is day two here in Kansas. Yesterday we come in here and didn't work out, saw a lot of deer. They were just crossing up, bucks running everywhere, some does and uh, we made a game plan today to come back in here, just move down the field a little bit, get him set up in a tree on a millennium seat, and that way he could see up over these beans a lot better. Uh, yesterday it was just a little bit too low. He barely could see the uh, top of the deer, but um, probably about an hour, hour and a half before dark, we could see, see deer coming out of this back bean field here. Several bucks started coming. Uh, it was only a matter of time before they entered into the field we were, and when they started piling out, they piled out. I say it all the time, get your kids, take them hunting. Uh, it's the best feeling in the world, way better than if I was out here shooting a deer. I mean, I get more shook up with them than I do with myself, and uh, just don't get any better, I'm telling you. Give me some. <laughs> Love you. Oh, 
slow, slow. A little grand. Go for it now, huh? I see a little grand on it. You ever kill one that big? No, sir. We okay. had him yesterday. It was just a little bit too dark. Yep. How far was he now? He was 350 yards. Dang it. I'm just thankful for this opportunity to come up here and kill a buck like this. I'm just speechless. I don't even know what to say anymore. Shot felt pretty good. He probably ran about 50 yards. Piled up. Awesome. He's a fatty, too. <laughs> hey, let's go. We're gonna go get them, I think. What y'all think? Yeah. We're gonna get them. Tony? Yes. You feel good about Got my good situation? luck charm with me. Oh, yeah. This year. First evening, and we're headed out to the deer blind. It's day one, we're in the blind. We see a bunch of does at first, but then the bucks are rolling in, but they were too far away. It's day two, and we're hoping that a big buck Step out. We saw him last night. Yeah, we saw a buck yesterday, but we couldn't tell if it was big or not because it was so far away. And we saw like about like 30 deer and like does and stuff like that yesterday. Let's hope we kill one today. As it turned out, the bucks didn't come any closer, so we had to change lines. Well, we just got word that Lexi has a buck on the ground. So we're fired up to go see what she's got. How many points he got? Nine points. Yeah, you can tell it's all about it. I was on my phone and he just told me there was a buck and that I couldn't really find him, but then I found two. And then this is just the one I picked up, I guess. And I shot it and then it didn't move. So I reloaded my gun and I shot it again and then it fell over. It's coming down to the last day of the hunt, and we're hoping for a big buck. It's the final day here. We've been seeing a bunch of deer. Most of them have been too far to shoot. But this field right here is a big deal. Just up back here. Emmett killed his deer on the other side of his 
Not every hunt ends with a kill, but I still had an awesome time with my friends and my first out of state hunt. Well, we're gonna continue this episode next week. Logan Saliba stays back for an extra day trying to get a big buck on the ground. So we'll catch you back here at the same time next week. All right, cows. Cows are coming. We better get better out of here. Get. Here they come. We'll fight them off. How do the soybeans taste? <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Yes, I cried every night. Put this in. <sighs> Things turned out horribly, and I had an emotional roller coaster. Cause I didn't kill anything.